way to get more windshield life or fluid on your windshield. But maybe Tesla has fixed the problem and I no longer have to carry my sprayer with me. Welcome back, friends. I'm just out here cleaning my windshield. But I'm wondering, has Tesla just fixed my need to scrub my windshield with my washer fluid and sprayer? Let's get in the truck and go for a test drive and see if this new release actually does clean the windshield better than my workaround method of my pump up sprayer and my windshield washer fluid. Let's take a little test drive and see how the new 25.2.8 update software. This is my first uh, calendar year 2025 update from Tesla. Pretty excited about it. It's the same 13.2.8 that we've had and have been testing for about a week. But my really interested in this new software is this update, this wiper wash update. I really want to see if this has the chance to solve the the windshield wiper problems that we were having while driving in the snow. So let's go take a little drive around the block and see how it works. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I have complained, even uh, went in for a service appointment because of the poor performance and the poor perfusion that the windshield wiper fluid was having while driving, especially when you're on salted roads during the winter time. But this newest update, this uh, 25.2.8 update, uh, claims to increase the amount of washer fluid flow. So let's test that out. I'm going to press on the washer flow and I'm going to hold it. And if you hold it for two whole cycles, oh yeah, look at the volume increase there. Quite a bit of difference in uh, windshield wiper volume. You have to hold it down for two complete cycles. But now I've got windshield wiper fluid running down the side windows and off the top. Quite a bit of difference than what we were seeing in our previous video. So it definitely have increased the flow. And uh, while the folks at the server center said it was performing as it was designed, they may have known that uh, back in the labs in California, Tesla headquarters, they were working on some software changes that would increase the flow. Well, I'm very pleased that this is out there, and I know all of you out there that have Cybertrucks will also be happy to hear about this as well and to get this update installed on your Cybertruck. Thank you.